Hi Milestones families, it's Hannah. I just wanted to stop by and say that I hope you guys are staying safe and having a lot of fun. And I wanted to read you all a book today. It's called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems, one of my favorite children's book authors. So let's read together. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. And three, they are all naked. Well, they were with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. When other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or cool or funny or I can just be an astronaut. When others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. He opened a store. The other mole rats did not. I don't think they liked his store. They brought, brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Uh-oh, they kicked him. Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. Ooh, they look angry. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Hmm, Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Hmm, then he thought some more. Finally, he said in, in a heroic and regal voice, gather the colony, I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. But he had no idea what to wear. Should he be a cowboy or a superhero or a businessman? Who knows? In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. He just wore some socks. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed... Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question, why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? 
Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his, as his legs could carry him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. There was other naked mole rats wearing clothes. Much had been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some, some mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats wore clothes. And three, all the mo mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end and there are some more rats shopping at Wilbur's store for clothes well thanks for coming to read with me today you guys like I said I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're still having fun at home and I hope to see you all really soon thanks